Hey, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Virginia De Bernardi, as you heard. I'm 15, and I'm a student. During my last school break, I went to Burkina Faso, a uh, French colony in Western Africa. And it was definitely a great experience. In the school, for 18 years now, is going on a Burkina Faso group. This means a group of students and teachers raising money and doing a lot of fundraising activities to support developmental projects in Burkina Faso. For example, last year, they've raised a lot of money to build few wells. And this basically was the aim of the trip. Go there and see what our community has done. And so I actually get to know that I had the chance to leave this experience because one day a teacher just entered my classroom. She talked about this chance and I was so convinced. I was already interested in few charities, activities, and community service stuff around the world, but she just get my attention. She just caught me. And after her speech, I was so convinced in going there. Actually, she's here. And, um, and this activity seemed safe enough for my mom. She was still really worried, but she sent me. And then easy, available, because in Italy, I'm a minor, so it's really hard to be active part of this uh, kind of activities. So I just went. And it was definitely great experience. I get to know a totally different culture and way to see the life. And one day, I, this is probably the moment that touched me most of the whole trip. I was in Nanoro, a village, 100 kilometers from the capital. And I was next to a girl. It was after lunch, it was like about 40 degrees. And we were next to each other. My first impression was just a kid like another. But then when I started to look at her, she had the big belly disease. And I was next to her. What could I say to her? How could I possibly talk to her? I eat and I drink much more than I should. And I don't know, I didn't know how much was that she did not eat or how often does she eat. And so I came up with the point that when you see something like this in a picture, you're here and this thing is there. There's a border behind you that is stopping you from understand what's actually going on. And so I was next to this kid and it was really different. So the reason that I went in Burkina Faso and the reason I think it's really important to help African countries is the one that I call globalization reason. Okay, you all know that globalization, globalization means sharing, helping each other out and beating the border of countries. So I'm not Italian, but I was born in Italy. So I was born in Italy, I might go and live in Greece and then open an industry in Australia and then sell my products in the USA on internet. So in the world is going on a globalization process that is excluding Africa from, for obvious economic reasons. And if we want to make a difference, we must include Africa because it's just part of the world. We can't leave it aside. But the question is, how do we make Africa part of this process? I came up with an answer that is to educate the people, give them medicines, water and food, just to make sure that they live enough to, make, to be part of this project. And also to permit a social evolutions to the people there. Because Western countries cannot keep exporting stuff without leaving any kind of profit to the local communities. We all have to understand that it's also really convenient for us to help the third world, because our aim is to build up a peaceful world through intercultural understanding and respect. And if we want to make this, the only chance we have is to include Africa. So the thing I brought back from my experience was definitely that to realize the reality of the situation, you have to leave it. You cannot stay here and feel sorry, because that's not enough. I went to many presentations, I read books, seen documentary, but that's not enough. I mean, I never really realized, I never felt what I actually felt in Burkina. So to realize what's up, what's going there, you need to leave it. Because I could stay here all day long talking about my experience, but for many of you it would be useless because we are bombarded from the media with advertisement about the poverty and the lack of resources in Africa, so you kind of know what's the situation up there. But you don't realize it until you feel it, until you discover it. And for the people who cannot go for any reason, 
I would suggest to not give the fish, but teach how to fish, as a Chinese idiom says. So don't give them 10 euros that once they, are, once they spend them, they're just gone. Maybe help them to build a school. So donate something that lasts in the year and that can be developed. And so to conclude, I would say that to understand, you need to see. Because see is truly believing. Thanks.